morning from Berlin. My name is Ivana and we are in Berlin for the WIMDU hashtag be local campaign. So we're going to, you know, discover Berlin the local way. First, we're going to start out with a German breakfast. Oh my gosh, ultimate German breakfast. This looks so good. It's like raspberries and white chocolate. Oh, so good. So much cheese and fruit. Look at this, we also have pretzels and croissants and I got this croissant with sesame seed. Croissants with butter, it's life man, life. German breakfast food, it's so good. Like aside from that, I do like aside Of course, I have to have a pretzel. Pretzels, we didn't have it last time, we were in Hamburg, but now. I don't know. I also have to try the muesli. Or the granola with the raspberries. Look at this freeze dried raspberries and white chocolate. Oh. <laughs> yes, I can eat a lot. <laughs> that was also just asking me, like, how do you eat so much? I can eat a lot. Good morning, Todd. Okay. Good morning. <laughs> we are in the metro, or actually the S Bahn train. On our way to the Berlin Wall. I'm finally gonna see the Berlin Wall. Yeah, it's really I've cool. I've been to Berlin before, but I've never been yeah. to the wall. And I've been to Berlin like five years ago, and I went to the Berlin Wall, and it was literally one of the most cool things I saw in Berlin. I saw all the touristy things there back then, but the Berlin Wall is the one, like, if I have to pick one thing that you have to see, it's the Berlin Wall. It's really cool. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Also, we got this list from. Uh, from Vimdu for the hashtag be local campaign. Do, like it's insane. Berlin has so, so many, many things, things to do and we're only here for, for today, basically the whole day. It's insane. There's so much to do. We're here, the Berlin Wall East Side Gallery. Frozen, frozen after that walk. I think we walked for maybe like 30 minutes or something. And I tried to look cute by wearing flats. I'm still defrosting my feet. Seriously, I can finally feel my hands. It's not even funny. It is so cold. Tot and I just walked to the Baumhaus, which is like an architecture project to, you know, show how you can live together with nature. This is it. We, we expected, to be very fair, we expected a lot more from this. <laughs> okay, going up. Okay. Well, it's definitely something that we wouldn't have visited otherwise. But it's fun to see the look. There's, it's like a whole tree house going up. We're literally in a tree house in the middle of the city. We're, uh, we're very nearby the city center. Oh, this is interesting. We can see the TV tower from here. Look, that's also quite famous in Berlin. Okay, going down again. We've literally been walking now, I think for 45 minutes or something through the something city. Like that. And this is really a cool way to see Berlin because it's truly a mix between old and new. Look at this pretty building behind me. But and at the same the time- street, they're building something new. Yeah, you will definitely see the contrast if you just walk through the city even though it's very very cold um yeah we are enjoying berlin actually with warm clothes it's not that cold yeah but she's wearing like a blanket coat <laughs> look at this <laughs> it's really nice and i'm just tucked in like a baby <laughs> and then we bumped into this look how pretty Wow! Because we heard this so last minute, we literally didn't have any time to plan it. That's why I asked you guys on Instagram for some, you know, recommendations, what to do in Berlin, where to eat and stuff like that. 
but the problem is the problem that all the places are so far away from each other we feel a little at least i i feel a little bit lost so um my biggest recommendation before you come to berlin is make a plan of action because otherwise you will just be lost the city is so but big if we didn't do it we wouldn't have seen this yes i'm very happy to see that but that i i have to give you advice you know because i feel a little bit lost but also like one of you guys recommended me to you know check out the view at the Reichstag. but you have to get a ticket for that one day before and we literally didn't have any time so yeah that will be my biggest recommendation become before you come to berlin make like a plan of action of things that you want to see place where you have to go and make sure that they're nearby each other because it's a big city it's a really big city in between these two gorgeous buildings the concert hall look at that so pretty omg omg okay rittersport is a german chocolate brand and somebody recommended thought to go here and, and make your create, own create your own chocolate and we just bumped by. into it yes let's it's do this let's do it let's do it make your own chocolate <gasps> Are you for real? Are you for real? You have to see this. This is like what we did in last time in Hamburg, but with Ritter Sport. That's so cool. Germany, I love you. Oh my gosh, look at this. Make your own chocolate. Create a eigene Schokolade. Oh, let's check it out. Dude, this is so cool. We just bumped into this. Oh my gosh! Look! Holy crap! <laughs> like this is paradise! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Anyone chocolate? <laughs> this place! <gasps> wow! Oh snap! Oh my god, I need one of these! Look at these! But the, I don't think this is real, but we wish that it was real. Wait, wait, wait. Look at these walls. Vegan, bio, lactose free chocolate whatever you want my friends my friends we just bumped into heaven in berlin what is this you have like the hot chocolate from the chocolate what is this <gasps> this place it's like magic look at that oh my gosh the mini ones how cute is this you can literally buy one cube of Ritter Sport chocolate. This is so cool. Yo, anybody wants a massive chocolate cake? How cute is this shape? This is the shape of the Ritter Sport chocolate. So cool. Yes, going to do it. We're going to make our own chocolate. Look how many ingredients they have. Seriously, sour cherry pieces, cranberry, strawberry pieces, raspberry pieces. They have so much. Mini marshmallow. <gasps> they have popping candy. I can literally make my own jelly popping candy. My gosh, what to pick, what to pick. Look at this. Thoughts chocolate bar with gold stars. How cute is that? I want rose pepper. And you can pick three things, right? Yes. And I want sour cherry pieces. Yes. And the gold stars. On top? Mid. Oh, on, just on top? Okay. Mixing it. And then the gold stars. Cute. So cute. 40 minutes later, I need a couple of chocolate. This is Spots Bar, the big one. And mine. Cool, thank you. Yay, my own chocolate. One of you guys recommended me the restaurant Cookies and Cream on uh, on Instagram. It was really hard to find. So we came from there and now we are here, but we are a little bit early. So we're just gonna wait here because we are so early. They're opening at six. Literally the bartender is not even here because we're so early. But to be very fair, we would have never found this place. It's so hard to find. It's just that we knew it, that, that it existed, that one of you guys recommended on Instagram and that you did see it on Google Maps. But 
it's quite impossible to find if you don't know the place. It was a little bit early to eat, so we just had uh, some tea there, we sat down. It's a really, really cool place and they had a good menu, but right now we are off to the bowl because that's also a big recommendation from literally everyone uh, when you say you go to Berlin you have to go to the bowl for great vegan slash vegetarian food I can't believe I'm going to eat healthy on a YOLO day but seriously if you are in Berlin you have to eat at this place wait 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 let me zoom in for you the bowl do you see this? Restaurant clean eating. Oh my gosh, this place is made for me on my healthy days. Not on a YOLO day, but who cares? We're gonna do it anyway. I was just showing that my newest thing with Stefan. The happy plan. And this is how excited I am to be eating at home, even on a YOLO day. You really have to check out this menu. Look, look, look. Clean eating restaurants. So, we have snacks and starters. Um, sprout with cashew cheese cream, vegetable chips with crunchy peanut dip. Look at this Buddha bowl, Sumatra curry, eggplant, sweet potato, this Asia bowl, rice noodles, grilled tofu, marinated tempeh. Guys, I am drooling. Pink chia bowl. Everything looks good. I usually just order a main dish or maybe a main dish and a dessert. Rarely do I go for starters main and dessert. I ordered everything because I want it. I want it. The food has arrived and I asked them to bring the, the starter and the main dish at the same time because I do not like waiting for my food for my main dish. It always takes way too long. So we got sweet potato fries over here with peanut dip and uh, this is a macro bowl so with tamari tempeh and just basically lots and lots and lots of deliciousness also some sauce over here oh i'm going to try the sweet potato so it's sauce oh thank you i thought you're lighting me look at her my personal lighting woman i love it thank you way very light mm. this is so good i thought you need to try it mm. so i'm just going to try the tempeh because i'm very excited about the tempeh it's so well seasoned that i would literally think that it's meat Wow. Oh my gosh, this food, I can't do it. Ooh, there's also some lemon quinoa underneath. I am so going to enjoy this and I'm literally blown away. Mm. There's pink kimchi in there as well. Wow. I don't know if I could say like the best vegetarian slash vegan food I have ever had because paneer oh no paneer is not vegan but vegetarian oh my gosh it's so good. dessert so this is white chocolate cream it looks so pretty man All the fruits and everything <laughs> It's delicious, but I wouldn't say it tastes like white chocolate. It's just more like vanilla pudding with fruit. But still delicious. I'm not complaining. I'm not mad about this. Guys, I ate it all. It's a very heavy temple. Brilliant update. I ate so much. I threw up. And I'm sick now. And I can't go out in Berlin. Massive fail, massive fail. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm just gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow we have um, still a morning left in Berlin. I don't know if I'm going to get up early, but we'll see tomorrow. This is so weird. Good, but weird, but good, but weird. If you enjoyed today, you can always put a thumbs up and if you would like to travel along tomorrow, but also to Morocco in uh, 10 days when you well actually when you're watching this yeah it's a only a couple of more days left click that subscribe button and then i will see you next time thank you so much for watching bye